Hello everyone, it's Justin Ryan with The Spatial Insider, and in today's video, we're gonna be diving deep into all of the beautiful widgets I've found so far on Apple Vision Pro as part of Vision OS 26, both native as well as third-party apps that offer widgets. If you're aware of some apps that offer a widget that I have not featured in this video, please make sure to put those in the comments below, and together we will build the most comprehensive list of Vision OS widgets available today. For those that are unaware of what widgets are on Vision Pro, they're an extension of an app. So think of your weather app that now you're placing a widget on on your wall so you can quickly glance over what the weather is in your location or another location you can have clocks photos all sorts of amazing beautiful widgets and they take a blank wall like the one here behind me and turn them into something magical with that said let's dive right in in today's video we're going to go through 44 widgets that i've been able to find so far to bring up your widgets you're going to go to your home screen and then go to the widgets app and as you can see here we've got a lot of widgets to go through together the first one that we're going to look at today is called airviz airviz allows you to capture Gaussian splots with your iPhone. And then look at those Gaussian splots on your Apple Vision Pro. You can use their widget to place portals on your wall and then tap onto those portals and instantly transport into that location. I highly recommend AirViz. It's a great app. The battery widget allows you to see the battery life for your Vision Pro. And then you can also bring up other Apple devices. So in this case, you could bring up your AirPods and show the battery level for your AirPods and your Vision Pro. It's super convenient. Next is the Bluebird widget. Bluebird is a time tracker for different tasks. So this one you can place on your wall, tap on it, and then choose the task that you're gonna spend some time on. Select that, and then you can see the countdown on the clock as you're getting your work done. It's a really great way to focus. Next is the Native Calendar app, and the Native Calendar app has multiple widgets from a date widget to the month calendar to the day calendar. You can place them on your wall. If you want more details, you just tap on it and the window pulls up and you've got all of the details. Plus, you can make changes or add events. All of that found there in your calendar. The next one is called Capture, and it's a notes app where you can quickly jot down your notes. You could also put post-it notes around your space. The next one is Card Hop. Card Hop allows you to have your contacts in a nice convenient location as well as track important dates like their birthdays and see those in a nice widget on your wall. The next one is ChatGPT and I love this one because you can quickly get into a voice conversation with chat. You can share your screen and it can see your widgets and your windows. Then the native clock app is next and a lot of different designs from digital to analog. One subtle thing that I love about the clock widget is that the clock widget is the same as on your iPhone home screen. It's very very nice. Day one is a journaling app that has a widget. So you can put widgets on your wall to prompt you to write your journal or see memories from different entries in your journal. You can also look at your journaling streak. Another widget is called dots. And this one is meant to be a motivator to show you exactly how many days are left in the year. And you can place this on your wall, change the colors. Crazy to say that we have less than 100 days left in 2025. The next one is called Fantastical. Fantastical has great widgets for both the calendar as well as for reminders, putting them all in a nice convenient place. And as you can see, there are a lot of widgets for Fantastical and even more calendar options than you see in the native calendar widget. Another one I found is Feedly and Feedly pulls in a lot of today's news or different topics that you are interested in. This next one is called Finalist and it's still in test flight. It is a task tracker so you can keep tabs on all of your different tasks. The next one is Firefox as in the Firefox browser. So you can see there are a lot of different widgets for Firefox. One of the ones that I love, the website shortcuts. So you can place that on your wall, tap into your favorite YouTube channel, hint, hint, Spatial Insider, or jump into other websites that you want to shortcut. IMDB allows you to see the latest trailers, movies and shows that are trending, celebrity birthdays happening today. You can place these widgets on your wall and jump into the trailers very quickly. Then we have InSpace, and InSpace is a really great way to connect with other Vision Pro users. And here you can see they've got multiple widgets from showing you who's active, what's going on around you, what events are coming up, or even some spatial photos. The next one I found is called Lenza, and it's a great photo editing app. They've got several widgets for that one. Then we have MD Clock, which has multiple clock options, different from the native app with different designs, and you can place these on your wall. Then we have MD Vinyl, allows you to play Apple Music. I still struggle to get MD Vinyl's widget to work, but they do have one. Next is Money Coach, and Money Coach has a lot of widgets. If you're tracking goals or want to see how you're doing with your budget or just your expenses or your net worth, 
Money Coach has many different widgets for you to try. Then we have Moon Portal, which has many different sized widgets for art. One of their widgets that I love is the Vision Birthday one, where you can see how many days it's been since you got your Vision Pro. Then there is the native Apple Music app. This is one of my favorite ones. You place the widget on your wall, you choose the album or song that you would love to feature on your widget, and then it creates this nice, beautiful imagery. You could actually go over to your wall and tap the wall if you want to, to start the song. You can see how much time's left on the album, what different song titles are in this album change the frame color, change the look from light to dark to automatic. I prefer the dark. Then there is the native news app. And this one allows you to see all of the latest headlines. There's this headline that I found here from Oprah that I probably should have read a long time ago. Something to do with hair loss. Then we have the native notes app and there's different sized widgets for notes. This widget allows you to quickly jump back into the notes that you've already started and to add to those notes or create new notes. Then we have parcel. Parcel allows you to see all of your deliveries, where they're at, how they're tracking. You can even look at the map widget to see how close the deliveries are to you. Then we have the native photos widget. This widget is really well done. You've got multiple options. You've got the panoramic widget. You've got different sizes for photos. It even offers spatial photos. So you place the widget on your wall, choose the panorama that you want or the photo album that you want or the spatial photo that you would like to use. This widget brings life to any empty wall. Then we have the Apple podcast widget with many different sizes and options here that allows you to quickly jump into your favorite podcast. Then we have Reddit so you can follow different topics, jump quickly into the top Reddit headline of the day, or look at your favorite cat photos if you're into that. Then we have the Apple Reminders widget. This one I really like. It comes in different sizes. You can place them on your wall. You can complete your reminders right from the widget, which is really convenient. Then we have the Robinhood app, which comes in many different sizes, allows you to see your trading portfolio. You can look at the different stocks that you're invested in. You could also change the view so it hides your balance and just shows the percentage that you are up or down for the day. I love changing the colors on this widget as well. Then we have the Seeds widget, which allows you to quickly jump into some great new recipes to try. Then we have SQL showing some upcoming games or movies. I think that's what that does. I'm not quite sure, but there's SQL. The next one is Simply Piano and Simply Piano allows you to track all of the different awards that you earn while practicing piano in your Vision Pro. Highly recommend this app. I did a whole video on this one. Then there is Slack for those of you that use Slack for all of your business communication. Then we have Samsung Smart Things, so you can control all of your smart devices. This next one is still in test flight. It's spatial instant messaging. It allows you to see other Vision Pro users that are currently on their Vision Pro so that you can quickly jump into a spatial FaceTime call. Then we have the Apple Stocks widget, which allows you to see what's going on in the stock world, what's up, what's down, what's the latest news on Wall Street. Then we have Sunlit, which is all about the sun. How many hours of sunlight do we have left? When is golden hour? A lot of different widgets for this one. Then we have the widget TG TV in Wii, which is an app that is for the high speed train system in France. Then we have US Bank, allows you to send money or request money. Then we have Venmo, which allows you to put your QR code on your wall. I'm not really sure why you would use that one, but Venmo does have a widget. Then we have Waterminder. They have several different sizes, several different options. This app is meant to help you track your water intake to make sure that you're staying hydrated. Then we have the weather widget and the weather widget comes in two different sizes. You've got the small one and the large one. It allows you to track your local weather or you can select weather for any location. There's no limit on how many widgets you can place on a wall. So if you want to track weather for many different locations, you can do that as well which is super convenient. This next one is still in test flight, but it is called Widget for Messenger, and it allows you to see your latest messages. What I also love about widgets in Vision OS 26 is you have the environmental occlusion. If you have any static real world objects that are in front of your widgets, you will see the occlusion happening in front of the widget, just like this here. I also love that if you leave a room and come back, your widgets are persistent and they are anchored. So they'll be exactly where you left them. Even if you turn your Vision Pro off or travel across the world and come back, those widgets will be right there. I love widgets in Vision OS 26 and shout out to the developers that have created these. Oddly enough, I actually miss my widgets when I take off my Vision Pro. All right, I have some good news because every app that I featured in the video today will be linked in the description below. If you enjoyed this one and you love Apple Vision Pro content like this, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one.